Okay, Henry, here we are at 3676 East Baxley Place in Inverness. Nice little home. Uh, I thought you would come right in the doorway. And uh, here we are looking at the kitchen. A little difficult to do this film because I had the uh, owner over my shoulder for a good part of it. That's him on the right there in the picture you just saw. Very nice gentleman but it just makes it a little more difficult to get the kind of pictures that you wish to take. In any event, uh, as you can see, this is the dining area looking out on the back patio, unfinished, but uh, has a base there, base slab, and um, fairly sizable living area to the right there. And as I go into the back hallway, there's two bedrooms and a bath there. On the right, we have the first bedroom, I turn on the light so we can see there with the wooden floor. Um, not terribly big, but not terribly small. And I could not gain any measurements. Um, there was none on the listing. This is in a different MOS where they don't seem to put size of rooms on it uh, as we do in our MOS. <clears throat> so it makes it a little more confined. And um, pardon my finger, it gets a part of the lens there a little bit. Go out of that room, you can see the room across the hall, and on the right is the bathroom with a full tub and um, decent size and a shower, of course. And then we go into the other room, which he currently is using as like a um, sitting room, uh, work room, call it what you wish, a library and um, has his TV in there, etc. That is not wood. That is a wall is painted. It looks like wood, but it's not very cleverly done. And um, those doors are wood, but uh, and it opens into a fairly spacious closet there. He is a Brit. That's a, as you can tell from the flag over the door. I say this room is just a slight bit larger than the other one we saw at first. Once again with wooden floors. Go out to the hallway which has the tiles which go into the bathroom and out through the hallway into the kitchen on the right there and to the uh, living area on the left and then the dining area adjacent to that uh, looking out once again through the window into the back. We'll see that in a few minutes. And now I'm um, going to go across the hallway just trying to give you a little better feeling for the expanse of this place. Across the hallway, the door on the left goes to the garage. The door on the right goes into the master bedroom, which has its own bathroom. The furnishings don't help in terms of trying to make it give you an idea of the size. Uh, it's lacking a little bit in the way the furnishing is done. But you can see the closet is relatively good size. And uh, they have carpet in this room. And in a minute, there's the bathroom. The bathroom does not have a tub. It is a full stall shower type setup. I'm sorry, take that back. It's not a stall shower. It's a, it's, it's a uh, strictly, well, yeah, I guess you would call it a stall shower. <laughs> there's so much terminology sometimes, I get it confused. And once again, he's got a little area in the corner there for his computer television, the whole setup, and a fairly good sized room, and a very large closet. We're going to go back out to now to the hallway. Across there is the, closet, the door going into the uh, garage. He has converted the garage. He's going to turn the light on for me in a minute. It doesn't work off the switch. It's in the power box. Not a big deal, really. And there's a doorway going out to the yard there. You can see the washer dryer. He is leaving that, of course. And the garage is a good sized uh, double car garage. And basically, now he turned the light on for me. 
And what he explained to me is he put a covering, just a hanging curtain basically over the, uh, where the door would be because he wanted this to be his exercise room. And he has a stereo, little small stereo out there, boom box, I guess. And um, just miscellaneous stuff, as you can see. Instead of having his cars in there, he keeps them out in the driveway. He had two cars out there. So for what reason, I'm not quite sure. It seemed a little crazy to me, but as to, he made it into a game room, basically. You can see the dartboard. You can see his equipment. It's basically a little bit of everything there. But in any event, it is a garage. Uh, he said it doesn't have air, which I wouldn't expect in a garage. But there is the air conditioning unit. And again, the washer dryer. It has an overhead pull down to go up into an attic area. And again, the doorway on the left there going out into the um, yard, which I'll go out in a minute. And in fact, uh, here we are. I'm a little bit crazy here with the camera, so bear with me. We'll straighten that out in two seconds. Okay, so now we're outside, completely fenced in, and it's very private. You have all the way around on all three sides is nothing but forest. Uh, there's a home down the road, of course. Nothing across the street either, incidentally. That's all forest as well. So you have plenty of privacy. Very impressive in that respect. And you could do a lot with this house. I think you mentioned to me that you're yourself pretty good at handyman and doing things. Uh, were I that kind of person, I'd be putting a room out back there personally. You could build that at your leisure. Uh, here, he has a, um, a shed out there. Uh, just has his equipment in there and so forth. And another area over there, which we'll move to in a minute, you'll see a better shot of it. But once again, there's the back of the house and there is the slab on which you could build a lanai or you could build a room or you could do whatever you wish. But it's a, it's a very large uh, area. Um, I was impressed. Now, you are aware that there's two sinkholes that I have a picture of that I'm going to also uh, send to you separately. Uh, not big, small ones, never had a problem with them, but you need to be aware of them. Um, I personally was not particularly overwhelmed by them whatsoever. If I were, I wouldn't be showing you this. I would say forget the whole thing. Uh, they've had, he, also he has stones, I'm going to jump here a little bit. He has stones going all the way around the house, as you can see there. Um, and there's the air conditioning unit. And pick up, refuse pick up. Now I'm out front, and I'm going to pan now around. My finger keeps getting the way of the lens, I apologize. The sun was in my face, so it was hard to see it. But um, you'll see there across the road, all woods, next door, all woods. And now panning around to the left, once again, all woods. There is a house up the road a ways, but, uh, so you're not totally alone in this road whatsoever, but everybody has their own little piece of it, uh, what I call paradise. And it's really neat that way. It's a double uh, car garage, like I said, with a double driveway leading up. And um, front pathway, you know, he has furniture on the front porch. And of course, there's where I came out of the backyard on the left. So Henry, it, Henry, there you have it. Um, I think it's a great little place. And um, I, it's the first house I've seen that I would really encourage one to think about buying.